Welcome to Art Starts Explores, our province of play. Are you ready to get creative with us this week? Let's review our three basic rules that guide us through our exploration and play. Rule one is respect. We want to respect ourselves, anyone we're making with, our tools and making space, and the lands and waterways where we're making. How can you practice respect when you explore, play, and make? Rule two is no expectations. If we're not expecting something to turn out good or bad, we're open to it going in a whole bunch of different ways. And that means that all respectful, creative explorations are great, regardless of what it ends up looking like. Try to do things you've never tried before and ask yourself, what will happen if I... Rule number three is nothing is for keeps. Everything we make together is a test, or a draft, or creative playtime. We're just trying things out. What can you make or try today and then take apart or recycle? What can we learn by making and not keeping? These are our three rules for when we explore together every week. Okay, what will we explore together this week? she, her pronouns. I am a white skinned, physically disabled femme using a wheelchair. And right now, I'm living and filming this session on Shishla territory. I'm a participant in the Ignite Art Starts residency here at Art Starts. And I'm excited to be creating with you all today through the Explorers program. Today, we are going to explore what happens when things break. We are gonna think about repurposing and recognizing the value of things that might seem broken. To start, we're gonna gather and prepare some materials. We will need a base, something like a piece of paper, a piece of cardboard, something from the recycling. I'm choosing to work on this little scrap piece of cardstock that I found. We're also going to need some mark making materials like crayons, chalk, ink, watercolor, whatever you feel called to make marks with today. And because we're exploring broken things today, try to recall anything you may have that is broken. Maybe a pen that's dried up, or maybe it's a crayon that you have broken in half. We're also going to need some tape. And now we're going to prepare a special material, which is going to be a disc of frozen water. So what we will need to make this material is a shallow bowl or a plate with edges going to need a little bit of water and we're also going to need access to a freezer. So what we're going to do is take a little bit of the water. We really don't need very much. We're going to pour it into our bowl or the plate. And now we're going to transfer this into the freezer. I'm going to ask for support on this step because I find it challenging to balance. So I'm going to ask for help 
putting this bowl into the freezer. So now that we're back at our workstation with our gathered and prepared materials, we're going to warm up with warm up our creativity with an activity. So right now in front of me, right before I begin this activity, I just want to take a moment to ground myself in my creating space. I am working on a wooden table. I've got my supplies around me with my base in the middle. And I've also got a towel underneath my base paper. So if I'm working with anything that could get a little bit messy, I'm protecting the table because I'm allowed to get this cloth dirty. So to begin, let's take our base. We can notice this as an unbroken piece of paper. But what happens if we begin to disrupt this paper? What happens if we crumple it, crease it, fold it? How does that feel? Now smooth it out again, just like this. And now, Take a mark making tool and see what happens and how it feels to draw or make marks on this surface. Try tracing the creases. How does it feel to color against the folds? What kind of shapes can we make when we try connecting all the lines that have appeared on our paper after we folded? the video here and continue exploring this activity if you would like. Or keep watching and I'll begin our next activity. So I'd like to continue using the base that I was just using for the next activity. But if you'd like, you can use something entirely new. So our first step is going to be creating a frame using tape. By laying down pieces of tape, we're going to create a shape that we want to view as a frame for this activity. to make mine a four-sided square. But you could make yours a triangle, an open-ended shape, a shape with no name, whatever you want. So now that we have our frame, we're going to continue making marks on the page, keeping in mind the idea of broken things or repurposing things. For example, I broke this crayon a couple days ago and I felt kind of sad when that happened. And that's okay, 
it's all right to be sad sometimes. But now I'm excited because I get to explore what happens when I make marks with this broken crayon. So I'm going to start by using the jagged or broken edge and start making marks on my page. I'm going to try rolling it. I'm going to try dropping it. Doesn't really seem to be doing anything when I do that. That's okay. Okay, now I'm gonna try using a bit of this leftover watercolor from an art project I did a very long time ago. The paint is all dry now. So I'm gonna see what happens if I try and use it. Looks like I can make some marks with this. I'm gonna try going up and down along the grain of my paper. And now I'm gonna try going against the grain of my paper. try using some of this ink. This ink is pretty old and a lot of it has dried up, but there's still a bit of usable ink in here that I'm going to try playing with today. I'm going to try smearing it around. I'm going to try dabbing it. I'm even going to try drawing with a crayon through the ink. Okay. So feel free to pause the video and keep playing. See what happens if you make marks using things you thought were broken or using things in new ways. And try exploring on the tape too. How does the texture change? How does the color change? Okay, so now that we've waited a bit of time, we're going to take our bowl of water out of the fridge and we're going to notice that it's now turned into ice. And this is perfect. So now we're going to take this outside or to somewhere that doesn't mind getting a little bit wet. Okay, and now that we have our bowl of water that's turned into ice, I'm going to remove it from the bowl and together begin to practice breaking something. And not the bowl, I do mean the ice. So what I'm going to do is just remove this little disc of ice. And this next part can feel exciting and fun and also feel a little bit scary. You don't often have permission to break things. There might be a loud noise, but right now it's okay. And we're going to do it together. So here we go.
now that we are back inside after the experience of breaking the ice, we can observe now what happens when things break. We can watch the ice melt and interact with the marks that we've made earlier. What happens if we pick up our piece and move the water around? What happens if we drag the ice around or try and make marks with the ice itself? So once we feel like we're ready to move on, we can remove the ice from our pitcher. You'll remember the last rule of explorers, that nothing is for keeps. So to honor this rule, we're now going to peel back the tape frame that we built at the beginning of the video.